I want you to listen to this. And I want you to think. And if this is wrong, I want you to make a video. Why thanks for agreeing. Explain why it's wrong. I just want to say don't be fooled by these whites saying we are all in this together. These people do not go through one ounce of what we go through as black people on the regular. They will be the same pale beasts that say that blacks should resolve their so-called issues of the police killing us peacefully. When those same dog fucking whites that talk that bullshit are going to be the same ones who are violently going to fight against us stand. Alongside with those same killer copes the day when we take up arms to destroy this wicked deadly system. I am telling you these whites are playing psychic warfare games with you. Because as you have already witnessed, whenever black people talk about fighting to destroy this system forever, those same whites show their true colors and then say to you that if you want to get violent and destroy our government of democracy and freedom, I will have to fight and destroy you. These very whites are the very lying hypocrites who talk that peace shit. They will violently fight us to the death to preserve these racist laws and racist system that negatively benefits them only but those same whites will not violently fight to the death to destroy it so that it is equal for all so-called human beings. These people are playing you sister. Don't believe their bullshit. I live in Arizona and these same whites are making preparations right now as we speak to live in the Arizona mountains when martial law hits and the race war starts. They have been buying up all the guns and all of the ammo and the police feds and Pagra military militias are all secretly working together to make this happen. They plan to kill us long range with sniper rifles that can see and shoot up to one mile away. And they have night vision scopes and night vision binoculars, miniculars, and night vision goggles as well. They are also planning to secretly wipe out more than half of the blacks, Hispanics, and Asians since their numbers aren't increasing much. I just wanted to let you know. Out here they have radio to act shows where they talk about how to psychologically deal with all of the other races that are the real majority. They talk about how they secretly have to play the game and make these Negroes and Hispanics think that they are on their side. And how they have to wait until the right opportunity presents itself like another 911 or martial law to start killing in the name of so-called preserve law and order the Constitution and the nation they plan to create confusion and make all non-whites public enemy number one. That means round UPS and mass killings. And if you think they can't or won't do it, just remember Rosewood, Tulsa, and countless other events. Now, I'm going to tell you about a town called Mayfield. I forgot where you said it was damn near, near Florida or something. I don't know. Raymond Mayfield, his great grandfather, owned a script. In this movie, is causing Flash to run slowly, continue completely. I'm not watching a movie. No. See, close tabs. Watch everything shuts down. Okay. Now, see, when you do videos like this. Shit happens. I did a video a few minutes ago saying tube those motherfuckers. Pretty much some of this what you just heard. Similar but in a different manner. I think in the end it won't be a race war. It's going to be a class war. Those who have want to keep and those who don't have will be eliminated. Period. I believe that's what's going to happen. They're going to kill whites, blacks, and all undesirables. Someone who has a record. Maybe you went to jail for something or whatever. You know, when you was a youngster, they'll fucking wipe you. They're going to try to clean the slate. They're going to empty the prisons. That'll be their excuse. We're in this big, great, giant financial debacle, and they won't be able to support the prisons anymore. They're going to release a bunch of criminals in the street. Then the shit hits the fan. Then they shoot up and kill up everybody. Not just blacks. Everybody undesirable. I have heard on many occasions from several different people about how the rate of white people, the rate of white people buying guns, how after the election they bought as many, they're buying up guns all over the country. The average person, the average minority, they don't want guns in their home. We don't have guns. We know I got a weapon, but it ain't a gun. 
So if you come in here, it's going to be some grizzly shit jumping off. Grizzly. Not just a bullet hole. I'm talking about straight decapitation. I'm talking about slicing motherfuckers with swords and shit. Because I don't have a gun. I don't want a gun around my family. I don't want the boomstick at the house. Um, I have heard several occasions, on several occasions, about the alarming rate of how white people are buying these guns. How many white people are buying guns. And, like I said, the fact that Obama won the election, that's when they started to go buy the guns. That's when the shit ramped up, uh, you know, up a little bit. But it doesn't matter to me. I don't care. I'm at that age where if they're going to come get me, they're going to come get me. They're going to come get whoever they're going to come get. I was sitting back to last night talking about the 2012, you know, and this white guy says, you know, it's kind of fucked up that the world is supposed to end 2012 based on, you know, all this and that and this and that and this and that and this and that and blah, 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 blah. And he's like, you know, it's kind of shitty that if everybody thinks the world is going to end, they're going to slap a black man in charge. And this is a white man saying this. So if the world is going to truly end on 2012, maybe it'll just end the way we know it. Maybe it'll be so fucked up in 2012 that everything shuts down all the way around the planet, just like in the movie The Day the Earth Stood Still. Everything shuts down. Everybody goes into a fucking mental fucking breakdown and collapse because everything that we've all ever known is all that we know. The truth is not there. There's all kind of reasons for this and reasons for that. But the reason that shocks me the most is that if the world ends on 2012, we as human beings never got the chance to reach our full potential. We as human beings never got the chance because of an animosity set between us by those a long time ago. We as human beings stopped progressing once religion became the guidelines. The guidelines for humanity should not be based in a religion created by man. I said it. Religion itself has been created by man to better certain men. All this will be fixed without Muslims, Christians, Baptists, without any of that biblical bullshit weighing people down with the hopes of some grand God coming down, saving people from this bullshit. Men are gods. We are the gods of this world. We control this planet and all we do is work on trying to destroy each other. If a group of white people want to go around killing black people and black people ain't taking up arms, the world will see it. But the problem will be is that the world itself is being attacked by God. Us. Men. We kill the very world in which we need to survive. We kill each other for monetary needs, for money, for fame, for sex, for women. We kill each other for jealousy. If they want to kill me, if the white men of the world want to see me dead, they've already killed me. They fixed it so I can't succeed to the, the limit I need to succeed at. I got to sing and dance and do a jig in order to be successful. Got to run the football. 120 yards a game to be a successful person. Got to play the rules set by someone else. I'm already dead. I am no threat to these people. So those of you out there who think white people are just going to come riding through killing people, understand this. Those who don't know now know. And the worst thing anyone ever can do is to turn a gun on their own self, on their own people. White people will kill white people to better white people. All people. You've been